The following is a presentation of the Eagles Sports Network. We continue our men's basketball position previews today. I'm the voice of the Eagles, Adam Cavalier, alongside senior guard Grant Teichman on the Puppy Kitty Cat Uncle Fester. Grant, uh, you look at your guards this year, and the big thing, no Charles Clark. Uh, 2,300 points gone out the door. Uh, how do you as a, a group replace uh, such a dynamic player? Uh, just everyone, like, just pitching in just a little bit here and there. You know, obviously, you lose Charles, you lose his points, you lose his points, but you also lose all of his minutes. So, um, a lot of time for guys to step in, more shots, uh, more rebounds, just, just uh, contributing in any way possible. Uh, your senior year, your second trip around the, the sun here for the orange and blue, your fourth as a co collegiate player. What have you done to elevate your game uh, here for your final go around at Mossy Creek? Uh, just like touch on all aspects, you know. Uh, obviously, I shoot the ball pretty well, but um, me and coach talked a lot about finishing and, um, you know, free throws and then, uh, you know, passing too. Uh, something we worked on a lot as a team this summer, just like you know, one dribble passes and uh, off the bounce and taking taking advantage of, you know, a four on three and just uh, making the right reads. So just kind of trying to touch on all aspects of my game. It, even with the loss of Charles Clark, there's still uh, quite a few players in the mix yeah. at the guard position and quite a bit of experience. Uh, we talked to him for the, the forwards position previews, but one could argue that Mason Bates yeah. plays a little bit of guard, but you have one of the best three-point shooters in the South Atlantic Conference in Malik Abraham holds two of the top four uh, single season totals in school history. What's Malik done to set himself up for a good senior season? Uh, just being aggressive and being confident. And then um, he, he's just playing more under control. Not that he was out of control, but you can tell he has a, just a, a better feel and a better understanding for what coach wants and what he's out there to do. And then obviously his shot making is elite. So just having him on the court, uh, it's just another guy you trust. You, you know what he's going to do, and you can play off of that. So, uh, you know, Malik set himself up for a big season. Several guys kind of like that. Reese Anderson's a guy that's been in the program for a couple of years. Mm -hmm. He's an upperclassman now, the same from Cameron Holmes. Uh, what do you see out of guys like that who've been around, uh, have started some games here and there that might be counted on to uh, deliver a little bit bit more now that they're junior senior status uh, the main thing would just be confidence you know they're uh, they know what coach wants and they know what works here um, they've played a lot of winning basketball so you can just see that you know they they know they deserve to be on the court and they're asserting themselves in that way um, which is great you know for us uh, and some some new guys some guys that got a little bit of playing time some guys that are familiar with the program Nick Rogers came on late uh, delivered some big minutes in some crucial crucial situations. You had Kellen King, who was a red shirt last year. How do the, those guys factor in? What have they done uh, to build their game, setting into their second years here? Uh, they both can, you know, just shoot the cover off the ball. So that always is going to give them a shot. And then, uh, you know, I, I guess I just keep going back to just the understanding. I feel like as a as a, as a team, we just we kind of know really what we're going after offensively, and then. You know, Mainly for them, you know, they've they've tried to pick it up defensively. Uh, those those are two guys that can score it, but the more they know our zone, uh, the more they talk um, and just assert themselves. Like I said with Cam and Reese, you know, you just have to know that you belong, and uh, the rest will kind of follow. Kind of, a, you, I'm presuming an understanding of the offense in general comes yeah. along with it. This has been a team that has been turnover prone yeah. uh, in years past. It hasn't terribly bit Carson Newman on the the hind end, but you look at it, you see 15, 16 turnovers a game, mm -hmm. probably a little higher than one would typically want. Yeah. Uh, how do you maintain a little bit better control of the basketball as the returning leading assist to turnover ratio guy yeah. in the South Atlantic Conference? Uh, some, that's actually something me and Coach have talked about. Um, you know, you can't just say, you know, don't turn it over. Yeah. No, one, no one purposely tries to turn the ball over, but uh, obviously value in the basketball and then one thing he's been really big on is just precision passing you know throwing an accurate pass and then uh, just catching ready to shoot like if you have an open shot take it just keep it simple um, and then the last factor would be trust we've talked a lot about trusting you know something I brought up with Malik you know you know what he's going to do um, and then I can play off that or he can play off me so when everyone's on the same you know kind of in the same sink and, and you just you just kind of start playing off each other and, and it becomes uh, natural and, and not forced. Uh, we, we joked about it with, with Mason uh, that it's 
not really a forward position preview. Yeah. I kind of say it's not really a guard position yeah. preview, yeah. but really arbitrary. Does it help to that end that this offense is more or less positionless? Yeah, for sure, because, you know, you just have your best basketball players out there. You have, you know, high IQ guys, and um, you can mix and match different lineups. Uh, it, just, it just creates flexibility, and it requires guys, you know, not to know positions, but just to know the game. You know, even not everyone's a point guard, not everyone's a shooting guard. You're just out on the perimeter or you're in the paint. So you just have to understand everyone's strengths and weaknesses and try and put them in the best position possible to be successful. Uh, a solid guard-heavy recruiting class, two red shirts among it, uh, but two guys in Blake Irvin and, and Luke Brennigan who likely will see the floor this year. What do they bring to the table? Uh, shooting, high IQ, uh, just a level of understanding. You don't normally, you know, Luke's a freshman, but he had a year prep school. Blake, this is his third year in college, so um, you know they, you know, even though they're new guys, they're not your typical new guys. Um, and then they both aren't scared to get after on defense. You know, they'll, they'll you know, claw, fight. You know, they're not scared to be, you know, aggressive in, in that end either. So just the high IQ and just the readiness to play is, is what's putting them in a position to see the court this year. All right, Grant, thanks for the time. Good luck this year. I appreciate it, Kev. That's Carson Newman, senior guard Grant Teichman. I'm the voice of the Eagles, Adam Cavalier. And this is the Eagles Sports Network.